over the past few years, you've been hearing many different longevity people talking about the importance of maintaining muscle mass for aging. Yes, it is true that increased muscle mass and muscle strength are associated with longevity and reduced mortality. But there is one thing that most people have started to neglect because of this new love for resistance training and lifting weights. And in this video, we're going to talk about it. Do it! So the thing that actually is equally as important for longevity and Vitality is cardiorespiratory fitness, specifically your VO2 max. And there is actually also very robust data about the association with better VO2 max and cardiorespiratory fitness and reduced mortality. In this 2022 study, they found among 175,000 US veterans between the ages of 30 to 95 that the association of cardiorespiratory fitness and mortality risk across the age spectrum, including septuagenarians and octogenarians, men and women and all races was inverse, independent and graded, which means that the greater your fitness, the greater your VO2 max, then the lower your risk of mortality. No increased risk was observed with extreme fitness. So that means also elite level of fitness in terms of cardiorespiratory fitness and VO2 max. So there appears to be no like threshold in terms of your mortality risk. So the higher your VO2 max is, the better it is for a chance of survival. The lowest mortality risk was observed at approximately 14 mets or uh, metabolic equivalents uh, for men with no evidence of an increase in risk with extremely high cardiorespiratory fitness. The risk for the least fit individuals, the 20th percentile in the bottom, was fourfold higher compared with extremely fit individuals. And in this graph, you can see the differences. So orange is the extreme fit category and uh, blue is the least fit category. So you can see there's obviously multiple levels of fitness and uh, health. But uh, yeah, the people with the highest cardiorespiratory fitness and which is reflected by your VO2 max is the one that you have four times lower risk of mortality compared to being at the lowest fitness. And another 2018 study also found similar associations. Cardiorespiratory fitness is inversely associated with long-term mortality with no observed upper limit of benefit, which means, yeah, that extremely high aerobic fitness being in the elite category of aerobic and cardiovascular fitness was associated with a greatest survival and was associated with benefit in older patients and those with hypertension. Rule number one for surviving zombie land, cardio. But from a longevity side, then the VO2 max appears to be quite an important factor for determining your longevity. VO2 max, also called maximal oxygen consumption or maximal aerobic capacity, describes the maximum rate of your oxygen consumption during physical exercise. VO2 max is measured by measuring either liters of oxygen per minute or milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. A healthy, untrained man at the age of 25 has a relative VO2 max of around 42 milliliters per kilogram per minute, which is about 12 metabolic equivalents or METs. Women on average have about 20% lower VO2 max and healthy untrained women at the age of 25 have around 36 milligrams per kilogram per minute of VO2 max, which is the equivalent of 10.5 METs. With age, you see a very rapid and steep decline in your VO2 max. At the age of 75, both sexes have the VO2 max of about 21 milliliters per kilogram per minute or 6 METs which is about 50% lower than it was in their 20s. Sucks! And in this 2018 study, they have pretty much laid out a graph showing what are the different levels of VO2 max you can aim for if you want to be either elite, so above average, below average, or low. So ideally for health, you definitely want to be above average of your age group if you want to reduce your mortality risk. Women between the ages of 20 to 29, a high cardiorespiratory fitness is between 115 up until 14.2 METs and one MET in this graph is the equivalent of 3.5. So you need to multiply this number with 3.5 to get the VO2 max in milliliters per kilogram per minute and these are in METs. So let's say a person who is in their 40s they want to maintain elite level of uh, VO2 max for their age the woman will have to get above 13.3 METs and for the man uh, 15 METs. So how do you actually increase your VO2 max and cardiorespiratory fitness? Of course, you need to do cardio and there are different methods of doing that. There's long steady state endurance, there's just zone 2 training, there's hit intervals, there's sprinting, etc. I think all of them have some benefit and they all contribute to your cardiorespiratory fitness in some shape or form. I think that the vast majority of your time should be still done training low intensity cardio specifically. So that's referred to as 
zone two training because that lays the foundation to your aerobic capacity and uh, when you are in the aerobic zone of exercise your body burns mostly fat and you can do that for many hours so that's the goal you want to build up your aerobic engine and you do that primarily with the zone two training and of course there's you can measure what heart rate zone are you in but one of the easiest rule of thumbs is to look at your you know breathing if you're able to breathe through the nose and you can have like a conversation to a certain extent then you're in zone two if you start to breathe through the mouth and you can't really talk that uh, well anymore, then you've exceeded your aerobic threshold and you're in the anaerobic state where you're actually burning glycogen and carbohydrates for fuel. Over time, as your VO2 max increases, you'll be able to stay in the aerobic zone for longer. So usually for most people, the switch from which they change from burning fat into carbohydrates happens around 65% of your VO2 max. But with training, you can you know push it up a little bit more and you can maintain aerobic function even at higher intensities and for longer. And the main message is that, yes, muscle mass and muscle function is quite important. Specifically, muscle strength is more important than muscle mass. But uh, cardiorespiratory fitness and VO2 max are actually much more predictive of overall longevity. Because you can be, you know, you can have like a lot of muscle and muscle strength, but still be obese. <laughs> but if you have good cardiorespiratory fitness, then that, let's say, negates the potential of uh, having a high BMI as well. But do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.